what it hopes for the EFA in the future. Mm. To inspire others. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Rex Lee. I'm a resident at uh, Moment Ken Hill Estate. I work as an administrator and the rest of the day I will devote my time for volunteer service. Hi, I'm Michelle. Uh, I've also been a resident of Moment Ken Hill for many years now. Um, I run my own business in private education. Our Green Mocha is a ground-up initiative. We started with this idea about that. The walkway was very hot for the residents. There's no shades. Walking through that whole stretch right, is actually very hot. We're thinking of wanting to plant uh, the plants, but then um, we can't do it by ourselves. So we work with Centre for Livable Cities to help us uh, to reach out to the right agency to see how we can do our initiative. good that the AFA was uh, able to provide us with support from the different government agencies um, to go through with us, you know, what are the steps to take, what's the process and which government agency we should be working with. Seeing the transformation of the team. We even have 40 students coming in to do the gardening for us when we first started because we have to plow through all the soil and everything. So imagine if it's just Michelle and I doing it. I think it will take, take what, a month to complete the whole thing. I think our success actually has shown that it's workable and we hope to grow this in amongst other communities. Our green Mocha is slowly but surely mm. raising awareness about green issues and how you know they can make little changes in their homes uh, as well as in their school community.